It's the first round of the FIA ERC, and I have a feeling that the phrase a penny for the thoughts of is going to do a lot of heavy lifting here. I really, really, really do. Let's start off with the thoughts of people who will be really happy at the end of the event. Simone Tempestini, first podium in the ERC and it's a win. The former, uh, was he JWRC champion? Well done to him. He was in the right place at the right time and he kept it cool and got the first win of the season for Michelin, for Skoda. And yeah, by 17 seconds. Third in the power stage as well. He knew what he had to do when he did it. And then for Matthew Franceschi, um, former JWRC competitor as well. Uh, first podium as well. And it all really came to be despite that uh, quite slow but quite impressive roll that caused a puncher on the first day. In tears at the end of it. it really well done to him for the recovery and it proves that some of those um, extreme roles you see in stuff like uh, EA Sports WRC they can happen and then for third place uh, Miklos Shomos who got his rally to Evo onto the podium at the end of it well done to the local hero who performed really well on his Pirellis and yeah meant that you had two different specs of Fabia on the podium and in addition to that, I think another person that we could look at is John Armstrong. Eighth overall in the end. It's a really good point tool to bring in at the start of the season. And then there's the what could have been, isn't there? Matt Osberg didn't even start. He had to withdraw for medical reasons. And Alfred Lorena was out on stage three with a broken radiator. Uh, when it came to stage uh, 10, Mika Heikala lost the wheel, which then ripped up the suspension, eerily similar to patterns at the Barham Rally. Then Martin Sesks lost a wheel where he was leading, inheriting the lead from Heikala. So that's two GRERS Rally 2s that just didn't make it to the end. In the end, the one that did, Philip Marage, made it across the line in 10th meaning the Hankook do get points and we see all four tyre supplies with points with Mabellini picking up points still in the MRF but yeah what could have been four different manufacturers in the top ten five different cars and all four tyre suppliers and I think the last one to say is going to be Hayden Padden Padden was doing really well he ran really really well and it was that punch right at the end that dropped into fourth but hey the last time he finished anywhere that low was, I believe, he finished fifth in, a, in the Rally with Jean Piemont that uh, Andreas Wilkerson's doing this weekend. Um, and for that, the last time he finished outside the top five was Rally New Zealand, where he finished sixth in a Rally 2 car, winning his class. Then before that, it was 11th for the WRC finishing third in his class then before that it was sixth in La Paya. he's missed a consistency now in fact the last time he classified outside of the top 10 in an event well that was Rails Rally GB 2019 and I was there for that one he was good form that one, that event but he had Super Rally of course but I do like the event. As Padden said, it seems a bit like Baumholder, but as Marchick said, it's got elements that you'd see in stuff like um, Rai Polsky. It's got elements that you'd see in Portugal, but for me, I think the one that stood out the most, which is why I um, looked at it, was Sardinia. But I think, hang on, that's Portugal I've chosen, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's been a long day, a long couple of days getting back home going back to my setup but yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining i hope to see you again soon bye for now